friends, today we'll be reading the story Shapes. Deep in the earth lies a tiny seed. The shape of the seed is round. The seed will burst open and become something new as it grows beneath the ground. Slowly a plant takes shape from the seed as it's warmed by the sun and watered by the rain. Just as the plant changes shape as it grows, your shape will change too, again and again. Think of cars and boats, animals and toys. All of these things have their own shapes. We can recognize many things in our world by the shapes. How many of the shapes on these pages can you name? Fish shape, seahorse shape, cup shape, rabbit shape, candy cane shape, hat shape, man shape, guitar shape, cat shape, boot shape. Some things can be many different shapes. There are so many cars on the road, but the cars don't all look the same. They are different shapes, but they are all still cars. Look at the boats and bicycles moving by. They are all different shapes too. Houses also have many different shapes. Your house may look a lot like the other houses in your neighborhood, but it might have a very different shape than houses in other parts of the world. Do any of these houses look like yours? Which of these houses would you like to live in? Tell a story about people living in one of these houses. Look closely at the different trees shown here. They are all different shapes. But the leaves on each tree have the same shape. Can you match the big leaves shown here with the trees that they belong to? Some things stay the same shape unless something happens to change them. Ice cubes melt when the air is warm. The clouds change shape before a storm. Blow up a balloon and just like that, you've got a balloon that's big and fat. Bubble gum gets soft and gooey as soon as you start to chew it. Many shapes have special names. These names help us to talk about the world around us. On some nights, the moon looks as round as a ball. Other times, it looks curved. The windows in your house may all be square. The front door is probably a rectangle. Look around the room you are in. How many shapes can you name? Some shapes are called open shapes. Others are closed shapes. A curve is a kind of open shape. All the shapes on this side are open shapes. Closed shapes don't have openings. If you draw a closed shape, the line will end up right where it began. All the shapes on this side are closed shapes. Look around the room you are in. Find three closed shapes. See if you can find three open shapes. A circle is always round and flat. Wheels are shaped like circles. Most plates are circles too. Can you name the things in this picture that are circles? Buttons. Clock are markings on the clock face. Some things have a round shape, but they are not flat. This kind of shape is called a sphere. Basketballs and tennis balls and snowballs are all shaped like spheres. Can you name the things in this picture that are spheres? Juggling balls, tennis balls, 
basketball, snowman's head, ice cream scoops. A rectangle is a flat shape with four sides and four L-shaped corners. Flags are often rectangles, so are many windows. The blanket on your bed is probably a rectangle too. Can you name the things in this picture that are rectangles? Flags, computer screen, envelopes, switchboard, blanket, keyboard. Some rectangles have four sides that are all the same length. We call the special kind of rectangle a square. Picture frames and posted stamps are often square shaped. Can you name the things in this picture that are square? Picture frame, sticky notes, keyboard keys. The triangle is a flat shape with three corners and three sides. Sometimes triangles have three equal sides. Other triangles have sides of different lengths. Can you find the triangles on this page? Most boxes have a top, a bottom and four sides. Altogether, this makes six sides. Sometimes all six of these sides are square. Then we call the shape a cube. Can you find the cubes on these pages? Some buildings have a square bottom and sides shaped like triangles. The sides meet up at a point at the top. This kind of shape is called a pyramid. Long ago, huge pyramids were built in Egypt. Today, some cities have buildings shaped like pyramids too. Can you find the pyramids on these pages? Triangle, rectangle, pyramid, square, circle, cube and sphere. How many of these shapes can you find in the picture here? Our eyes see the shapes of things. Our brains help us tell the difference between these shapes. We know a closed shape and an open shape. We can tell if something is a square, a circle, a cube or a sphere. We see the difference between a rectangle and a triangle. All the different shapes that we see make the world a very interesting place. And that is the end of the story. Please like, share and subscribe.